everyone, Ellie Pop Dragon here. So today I think will be quite fun because we are actually taking my 15 hand 8 year old mayor named Meadow on a cross country schooling trip to Valedale Lake. To those of you that need an explanation, Valedale Lake is this beautiful river lake that has lots of cross country courses really close to Valedale, the town, and it's overall just so beautiful there. I love taking trips up there and feeling the cool mountain air. It's just so amazing. Meadow has gone cross country a little bit, but not a lot, and she's only eight, um, so she does have some experience, but this will be really good for her in general. We don't have anything particular that we're working on, but just her overall roundness and jump and, you know, everything like that um, is really good to be working on with youngsters like her. I've already lunched her about 30 minutes ago, so hopefully we won't have to do too much warming up just because there's no real arena there, so we'd have to just trail around, which is fine. And Obviously, we are going to do a little bit of walking and trotting because she's never been there before and it's going to be a new experience. So I want her to be as comfortable as possible before we really get into it. Um, so with that being said, I also wanted to mention that we do have a sponsor for today's video. Um, it is Rex Stamper. They have sponsored a couple other equestrians around Jorvik as well, but they are a really nice saddle company that I absolutely love and helped me find one of my dearest saddles that I still use to this day. This one here is the one that I use. It's the Walnut Classical Jumping Saddle, which is a really pristine and classy saddle that is really comfortable for the horses and good in the show ring. This is the Hazelnut Beginner Saddle, which I mostly use for lessons because it is really good quality and very durable. And it keeps really well and doesn't get worn out very fast. It also fits a lot of different kids this is another one of their saddles I'm not really sure which one this is because they have so many but I know one of my friends has it and they really like it especially for longer more uh, stamina type things because it is very lightweight and easy for the horses to move around in they also make bridles if you didn't know that Go check them out, they are amazing. Moving on though, this is Meadow, my beautiful American paint horse, standing at about 15 hands. She is who I will be taking today, so I already have the trailer loaded, I just need to get her ready. So I did have to put her travel boots on just to make sure her legs were safe on the ride and then I put her halter on and led her out to the trailer. So I unloaded her and then took her wraps off and then I started tacking her up and I did put my gloves on off camera just because I figure you guys don't need to see every nitty gritty detail but I don't know maybe you do. So I put my helmet and my um, body vest on because I want to make sure if I do fall then I won't take as much damage. I also used my Walnut Classic Jumping Saddle and Bridle, and can I just say, they look 
Mwah. They look great, in my opinion, anyway. After that, I led her to a mounting spot and tightened the girth, rolled down my stirrups, and made sure that everything was a-okay before I got on. Then I mounted up and I just let her explore and get comfortable. And this was also her first time seeing water, which was so cute. At first she was a little hesitant, but after an, a little encouragement, she went in and had a blast. I got her over a bridge which she had some experience with so she went over it really nicely. We went in both directions and after that I started warming her up um, just by walking and loosening her legs from the um, long drive. So I let Meadow walk out before we started warming up on some cross country fences. This was one of the smaller ones. And as you can see, she does have quite a heavy um, canter, especially when it's slower like this. She definitely needs some momentum to pick her up, but we just kept working and I got her to move a little bit more. And as you can see, she does definitely roll back a little bit on her hawks and it's a lot better jump because she doesn't have to bring herself up as much. Um, so we just worked on this before I decided that we were ready for a course. So here I felt that she was ready to take on the cross country course and I felt that I was ready as well. So I let her have a minute of walking to let her catch her breath before we started the course. Thank you. 
So this was the end of the course and I can't describe how proud I am of her. I definitely think she would be great at maybe eventing and I would love to try it with her sometime, but probably not in the near future as I'm still working some kinks out with her. I let her go on a small trail around the beach and on the grassy parts just for her to cool off before we untacked and got ready to leave. I dismounted and then untacked her, but I did that off camera because I figured you guys didn't need to see that since you already saw me tack up and it's basically the same thing just in reverse. I then put her travel wraps on, which are also from Rex Stamper, so thank you so much Rex Stamper. I put her halter on, took off my body vest, gloves, and put my hat on and then we were good to go. So guys, we are back at the barn now and Meadow is just behind me enjoying some rest and relaxation after a long day's work. And she totally deserves this because I think she did really well. Although we do have some rough spots, we can definitely work on those and we will get better for sure. Um, but in the meantime, I do want to give a quick thanks to Rex Stampers for sponsoring this video. Again, go check them out. They are absolutely awesome and I really enjoy using their stuff because it's good quality. Anyways, back to the video, there's one thing I want to update you guys on. As some of you may know, I bought this barn from Steve quite a long time ago, probably about four months ago, and so far it has been absolutely amazing. Although, it is not until now that we have come up with an actual name for the place. It used to be Steve's Farm, seeing as it was owned by Steve. But it's not owned by Steven anymore. So we've decided to call it Silver Willow Equestrian. I decided that I want a small part of it to be dedicated to Silverglade. And that is where the silver part comes in. Anyways, that's it for the update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please like and subscribe for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Live, laugh, love life. Bye.